All right, here we go. We got two types of uh, classical conditioning left, or depending on, maybe this is your first video, then there's three, I don't know. Anyway, so these are the procedures that you use for classical conditioning. So, which one do you want? Do you, do, do you want <laughs> do you want the simultaneous conditioning or would you like the backward conditioning? What, this is like a choose your own adventure book, except it's more interactive. <laughs> Simultaneous! <laughs> Yay! Um, wow. Um, he, he chose simultaneous. Um, cool! So anyway, simultaneous. Here we go. So simultaneous conditioning. The CS and the US are going to come out at the same time. <laughs> the CS comes on, the US comes on. Alright, now remember, folks, that classical conditioning is all about predictability. We can get into Wagner and all that fun stuff, uh, or Rescorla, whichever one it was, or Rescorla Wagner. I don't remember. It, it's all a bunch of R's and W's in there. Um, so anyway, so one of those two folks talked about the predictability, or both of them, I can't remember. Um, so the, the, the talk about the predictability, all right? So the CS has got to predict the US. If the CS doesn't predict that US, then you're not going to get any conditioning. So as you might imagine, simultaneous conditioning is going to be a bit challenging. Uh, why? Because it doesn't really predict it. It just, boom, happens at the same time. You will get it over time. It's just not going to be nearly as strong as the other type, the other types of procedures, such as the delay conditioning and the trace conditioning. So probably don't use it. That's my best advice. How was that for a choose your own adventure? Because that's the only one you get on this video, so you're going to have to choose a different one if you want a different adventure. 